What's happening with everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this project, we're taking a look all about how to add a featured image inside your project in React. Now, what is a featured image? A featured image is courtesy of Facebook's what's called Open Graph or OG. In the OG or the metadata, I know OG can mean a lot of things, but in the OG metadata, we have this actual picture for this link preview. And what I want to do in this design and react is essentially when you share a link, what you see by default is this picture. So I've got these palm trees in my finished project, the open graph image demo. I'm going to build this from scratch from start to finish. So with that, let's get started. All right. So I have my basic react project working here. In this case, I'm running a Gatsby project just to make sure it is working live on the server. I'll add some exclamation points. Perfect. Hello world. We're going to spend a lot more time in the inspect area, mostly in the head. In fact, all the time in the head section and really not any time inside the body. This is just extra fluff and the head section where we're going to spend all of our time. So I first have to do is create a new project or a new file. So I'm going to create command N for new and I'm going to go into my component section now in different frameworks with next or any kind of react framework, you might put this somewhere else. In Gatsby, it goes inside the components folder. So here I'm going to do is I'm going to say SEO image dot JS. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import asterisk as react from react. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my featured image first and foremost. Now how my folder structure works is I've got my SEO image dot JS in my components folder and I have a lake default and a lake specific. We're going to do it two ways where by default, this lake default picture comes up. And then in our specific file, in this case, I only have one file. I'm going to change it to lake specific. So if you have multiple pages by default, the default image, I should almost name that too specific shows up. And then you can change this later to lake specific. So I'm going to bring this in lake specific dot JPG. I'm going to do is I'm going to say import. And I will say featured image from and go inside that folder images and drop it in. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to write a statement and say export const and we'll say featured image and we're going to add equals and bring in some props in here. So we'll say props and then equals greater than symbol. If we actually type the right key. And we'll drop our open paren, close paren, and drop this down here. Now we have to add an open and closing div or some kind of tag. So I'm going to say open and close just to bring this in. So I'm not really going to bring any divs in, but I have to open and close it. So here I'm going to do is I'm going to say open and close curly brackets. And in here, I'm going to say props dot custom image. Is there a custom image like a specific image? If so, do something, if not do something else. So I'm going to do is I'm going to open and close my parentheses and down here, I'm going to say colon to say, if there's not a picture or a custom picture, what do I do? So then if there's an if then statement, essentially, I'm going to say, well, if not, then default to a default picture. So we'll start below and go up. I know it's a little counterintuitive at first. So in this case right here, I'm going to say less than sign meta name equals OG colon image. Now this image is going to come from the featured image above at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say content equals now put my curly brackets in. I'm going to write two statements. The first is going to be the URL of the website website. Duh, there we go. And then we'll say plus in this case, I'll drop it down. So it's one line altogether. The content's going to be the URL, of the website plus then we're going to say featured image. So we're going to then plus sign equals featured image. Now this is not going to work yet. So don't hit the save button. Otherwise your terminal is going to go haywire in here at the very top. What I want to add is a meta property of a custom image. So I'm going to say in this case, meta, Oh, that was a weird typing meta property. And in here we'll say again, OG image. 
For the sake of readability, I'll drop down the content just a little lower and we'll say content curly brackets. And then, oh, you know, I forgot. I just realized helps if you close the meta name. That's what I was wondering about. Again, I'm typing a little out of order because I want to start at the bottom and go to the top. So it's a little funky, but we'll fix that really quick by closing this one and making everything look better. That looks better. Almost gave me, whew, that was a tough one right there. Let's just drop down the content and we'll just drop it down so it's the same. There we go. If we go indent this one, now we're looking good. So what I had to do is I just didn't close this one. I forgot to close this one too. So of course everything went haywire. So back up to the custom image up here. What I'm gonna do here is type in props dot custom image. So we're gonna pull this custom image from a different web page. If there is no custom image, then default to this one down here. Now we do have to, and Facebook likes it, that we do put the URL first and then the image second. That's kind of the important part to have. So I typed in both the URL plus the featured image link at the very top. Now, if we save this, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't actually attached the SEO image into the index file. So let's now go into the index file and bring this project in. So what I'll do is I'm gonna say import SEO, actually it's capital SEO image from, and we'll say in this case, mine's in my components folder. So I'm gonna go out of my source folder into my components and bring in the SEO image. Now from here, what's gonna happen is everything's gonna link up and hopefully work. Now, if we refresh our page, let me just do a quick refresh to make sure it's working. Nothing's gonna happen yet, but something kind of flashed and we don't have any error messages. And if we pull up my little terminal, it does say the SEO image is defined, but never used. In Gatsby, we have to put in a certain spot for it to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, oh, you know what I forgot as well? I went too fast, it's not gonna work, is I have to do one more critical component over here. My bad, everybody. Went too fast and nothing's gonna work. I have to export this as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say export default and then say featured image. Otherwise this is gonna fail and it's not gonna work. Forgot one little line on the page. That does happen on occasion. Now back to the image file. Here we go. So in this case, we wanna import the SEO image. Now what I'm gonna do is on the index page, I'm gonna come down to the bottom and I'm gonna say export const and then say head. This is for Gatsby where it wants a head const to initiate the actual information inside of the head tag at the very top of the page. In this case, we'll say open and close parens equals greater than symbol and we'll just add an open and close tag. Let me just move it down and indent the page right here. I'll indent it one more. Now I'm gonna say SEO image in this case, and I'm gonna close it up. And now what's gonna happen is if I refresh this page, inside the head, what we're gonna find is the meta name OG image. Now note that it says URL of the website slash static lake default. That's because in our SEO image, we did use URL, the website. In this case, my URL is localhost. So I'm gonna copy this just for this one time right here, drop it in. And now what you will see is the content will say HTTP localhost 8000, oops, take out that slash. And now we can double check to make sure it's there. We then copy and paste this URL Drop it in, there's our picture. So, so far this part is working, but I wanna bring in a custom image because I wanna bring in the other image. If we go down, come back to our source folder, we have the lake default, but I wanna bring in lake specific. So what I'm gonna do is on the index page up here, in this SEO image, I'm gonna write custom image. So I'm gonna say custom, image and equal sign. 
Now in this case, I did not include the HTTP up here. This is where if you do want to, some sites have different locations for images and some sites don't. So I created a separate URL structure here. Again, this is how your site might be structured a little bit differently. So I'm gonna repeat the process and I'm gonna say single quotes and I'm gonna put in the, ooh, not everything. I'm just gonna bring in the local host. So we'll bring in localhost 8000 by saying HTTP colon slash slash local, oh, did I forget Chrome does that. There we go, localhost 8000, take out the slash, we don't need that one, and we'll say plus, but what picture are we bringing in? We don't have a picture yet. So in this index, just like we did before, I'm gonna bring in import lake two from, and again, what we're gonna do is bring that lake specific file over and say lake specific .jpg. So again, we'll go out of the, in this case, the source folder, we'll go into the images folder and then we'll bring in lake specific. The lake two will then be used down below. So we'll bring it right down here and say lake two. If we save that, what's gonna happen is this picture is still gonna stay where it is but if we come back and just refresh the page to make sure it's working, inside the head section, now we have a new picture. We have lake specific and the picture right here from the localhost 8000, and we can double check to make sure it works. There it is. So that's part's working, but what do we do when we actually put this online? So what I'm gonna do is inside of Gatsby, I'm gonna build this project and run it through like we did before with this Facebook meta for developers, ignore the actual areas. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna run it through this debugger to make sure it's working. So inside of Gatsby, it does require a Gatsby build. And in this case, I'm gonna build it twice because we have to do two things. In this case, the Gatsby build's gonna run it. And Netlify is really awesome. Where did I put that Netlify? Let's see, pull it up, different screen. And Netlify allows me to drag and drop files. Super cool and helpful, which I love about that. Thank you, Netlify, which makes everything easy. By the way, if you haven't used Netlify, you can leave drag and drop your files, drag and drop, it's online and we're done. So I made a Gatsby build and yes, I do know that I have localhost 8000. That's okay, we're gonna change that. So what I'm gonna do is if I come over grab my folder structure. And now it does default to public with Gatsby. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that public folder, drop it in and uploading. There shouldn't be a lot of uploading, but it still works. Site overview, all right. Cool, hello world, hello world. Now again, we haven't actually tested this yet because it's still localhost, which is totally fine. What I have to do is I'll have to get the actual URL of this project. So I'm gonna do is go down to domain management. I have some custom domains and I'm gonna say OG image. In this case, I have my Hayden.co domain name. So we'll say verify. And I'm gonna add a subdomain to my, oop, no, 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 not Hayden.com, shoot. Typing too fast, it's Hayden.co. Someone did buy Hayden.com so many years ago, so I took the Hayden.co when it became available. So ogimage.hayden.co, you have to either use this one or use Netlify's own domain name, totally fine to do, doesn't matter. They do have, in this case, mine's Dashing Sunshine, that's a cool name, c87309.netlify.app. That one totally works. I just used my own custom one making sure I forced HTTPS to make sure it's all under the HTTPS banner. And if I double check this one, hey, there it is, ogimage.hayden.co. Now what I have to do is replace that URL in my project. So I'll come down here, drop it into the OG image, and the SEO image is gonna change as well. Now, of course, I have to rebuild this one more time to take into effect the actual domain name. So if we come back to our terminal, I'm gonna Gatsby build it. And I've got a lot of windows up here, a lot of things to move around. 
Perfect. Now what I have is the connection of the domain name and the beautiful part is to deploy this on Netlify. So cool. I love this part. I just have to drag and drop the site. So I'm going to re-drag and drop that public folder right into this project. Uploading. Uploading. Perfect. Now what I get, hopefully, is hello world. Let's take a look at the terminal. I'm going to head back over to Chrome for a second. OGHayden.co. Head. Now what I have is the OG image with the OG image dot Hayden. No, it's kind of, there it is. Hayden.co kind of broken up. But if I copy and paste this, it's right there. Now also, you notice why it's a little bit of a different ratio. That's because Facebook does recommend that they do have a size of roughly 1200 pixels across by 630 pixels down. And that's what I have a certain size ratio for these pictures. It does recommend a certain size. Now for the ultimate test, I'm going to close up Safari. What I can do is I can test this project out. Where is that Hayden.co link? There it is. And in this, I can then test it with the open graph debugger. I'll share a link inside this project. I'm going to drop this in and debug it. And since we're kind of done with this project over here, just to get a little more space in here. Um, yep, it says it has not been shared in Facebook before. That's because I just built it 30 seconds ago. And fetching new information, there it goes. Ignore the warnings. Yes, we have no URL, no type, no title. That's totally fine. Ignore this part. I'm simply focused on the link preview. Check it out. ogimage.hayden.co and the picture showed up because I used a custom picture. And if we go back again, if we didn't use a custom image up top, what result is the picture defaulting to this one down below? So every page in your website that you use this SEO image will show up with some picture, either a custom picture or a default picture that you can use for your Facebook open graph. And as a result, when I share it, what I get is a link preview inside this picture. And if we add more text, we have that. And this is how you can add it inside of React.